Hey guys, Jake here, and welcome back to another episode, episode 61 of Bichettics. Boys, so we have finally, for the first time in a while, had a break from this game, and we have come back with a bang today, because today we are going to hit Elite Division, and you are going to see how. Because, you know, when you pack a card like Luis Diaz at the end of Prem Tops, he's a million coins. He's going to take you places, especially when my team's already worse than everyone else's. A player like this can really change things around. And another player that could change things around is this Evo Ansu Fati with 99 pace, practically maxed out dribbling. Okay, passing stats, not really good enough right now, so maybe a passing game style. And then with absolutely unbelievable shooting stats. So, you know... Five star skill moves as well, trickster play style, power header and Travella plus. I mean, what else could you really want from this card? I mean, he looks absolutely phenomenal, and we're going to give him a go after evoing him today. So, next up, next thing we need to discuss is evos because. Oh, actually, no, this is just me submitting that Ansu Fati into the Evo, locking in that I will be doing this card within two days' episode. Spent 100k on it, down to 27k. Come on, boys. But yeah, the plan is to have this video up tonight, Wednesday night, even though I recorded the content for it Sunday night. And then what the plan is, we'll, we will um, probably do a rewards video, and I might just do a rewards video, I think. Uh, but yeah, doing level 1 of Ansu Fati, you could do them all in squad battles, so while I was doing some objectives, I pretty much just did the whole thing in squad battles. Um, so there's the first section and the second section of Ansu Fati done, and uh, I think we will eventually get the third section done um, before we get into any gameplay. But first up, Milinkovic Savic also completed. He looks like he could be a decent card. It potentially could be Evoable in footies or Euro to or Euro promo. So you never know. Could be a good card and could be very nice. And then also whilst doing that Milinkovic Savic, we also completed this Bester card, who looks like fodder. So he's gonna he's already gone into an SPC, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. And, um, yeah, the first thing we did was the weekly Tots upgrade. I think this was for Prem... No, this was for Bundesliga Tots. So, basically, I didn't play from the last day of Prem Tots all the way until the second to last day of Bundesliga Tots. And I've played a little bit in Liga and Tots. So, you know, taps over from the weekly Tots upgrade. That was the first Bundesliga Tots card I packed, but they've been ridiculously hard to pack, to be honest. I've packed a few of the Liga and ones, obviously, because the Liga and upgrades are pretty broken. So, yeah. And then we did the... Uh, the Bundesliga Tots upgrade, submitting a duplicate Alexand Alex Sandro that we got given as compensation for when we completed Caputo and got Sandro. But you'd think if you completed that, you'd get the Caputo. But you know, it's fine. And then the Bundesliga Tots upgrade, we ended up getting... <laughs> oh, it's a blow, who'd have thought? English left winger, it's going to be Jaden Sancho, and he looks okay. Um, I have used him a tiny little bit off the bench, he's alright. Um, nothing too special, but a solid little super sub. Maybe you could use him... Um, from the start, I've not really tried him out too much just yet, but he looks alright. Not worth a lot, but a card that I really wanted to try. And then we finished the Ansu Fati Evo, which is very nice. And um, yeah, that means we can now slot him into a team and get the Division 1 to Elite Division push on the way. But, you know, this card, as I said, looks fantastic. A Tots Plus as well, so he gives that extra Premier League chemistry. So let's see how we can get him into a team. So we've decided to start off with today with Nashwang, who we packed earlier. We're going to be finishing off that Canate, Evo, Bichetic, Alonso, Maldini, Mukiele and Allison. Tots Allison. Then we've gone and got that new Ansu Fati. I mean, this team just looks really, really good. The Diaz, who we haven't tried yet, and Bappe and Alvarez up front. I mean... I'm I'm really 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 excited for this um this team and this is how it's going to play in game four three two one like normal Alvarez is the attacking centre mid he's got the passing play styles and he's got decent ish passing so I guess he'll do and then we've got Mbappe Fati Diaz as a front three which is absolutely lethal so let's get into some Division One gameplay. So here we are into the first game. No need to show teams or anything. Just heading straight into the gameplay. And we are defending a corner. And a first time ball into the box. And Maldini has just stuck it in my own top corner. And I didn't even get a chance to switch to him. Good. Um, good finish, Maldini. But straight from that goal, we're going to hopefully look to bounce back. Because it's just, it's just not good enough, is it? We've just gone 1-0 down to Maldini. Maldini's AI. Without me even getting an input, just shoving it into our own net. So... But we are going to get a free kick now, though. Let's see what we can do. We're going to give it to... Um, we're going to give it short. I think this is... Nash Wang. Into Alonso. It's a power shot. Oh, good save from the keeper. 
unfortunate on the score there, but we do have a corner and we do love to score from corners. Alonso, for some reason, on my corners, is going to whip it in. Can we win it? No, going to come to the edge of the box. Mbappe, power shot into the bottom corner, well, into the middle corner. And that is an equaliser. No, oh, it's an equaliser. This guy has then gone 2 1 up. Um, don't know how, but he wasn't very good. But we come up the other end. Nashwang really should have scored. And apparently I got a penalty for something, and I have no idea what. But, you know, another corner. We're going to whip it into the box. Bring Maldini to that near post in front of the defender. On your head, son. Loops over the keeper and into the back of the net, which is very nice. And, um, yeah, forward we go. Uh, Luis Diaz now on the ball. Already scored one goal in the last few seconds. Nashwang waiting for Diaz. Lovely little ball down the line. Luis Diaz dancing. Lovely little fake shot. Bang, fake shot, stop, lovely little roulette, takes the touches down the line, cuts it across, and he's just rinsed the whole back line, and Alvarez gets us a, a lead. This guy isn't very good, and we've conceded two stupid goals to him, so let's try just finish off this game, and it's now 4-2. Uh, the fourth goal was probably just something sh not very interesting, so not showed it, but uh, that pull is absolutely disgusting to Mbappe, using the rapid plus to beat the man, and then the Travello at the near post, and that is 5-2. And a rage quit came at half time, and into the next game we go. Next team we come up against, 0.7%. Kingsley Coman inverts. I mean, that team is just, oh my word, like, what on earth is that team? That team's like 10 times better than mine. So um, let's hope for the best. And into the highlights we go. Nashwang charging down the left wing. Lovely little uh, driven pass inside to Mbappe. Gives it to Alonso. Into Bichetic. Bit of trickster for literally no reason whatsoever. Alvarez. Back to Bichetic, into Luis Diaz. I am a virgin and I have scored a gay goal. Very good. Uh, but into the next clip we go. This guy looking to do the same thing as me. And I think he'd already tried it once, which is why I did it straight back. But we're going to come on the account attack from his stupid decision. Mbappe, nice little elastico. Looking for potentially a 1-2. Diaz slips it into Mbappe. Mbappe, likes fake shot stop into the elastico. Green time shot off both posts and into the back of the net. Uh, very well taken goal. And into the next game we go. Interception from Bichette. It gives it to Alvarez. Alvarez going to do a bit of player lock here. Get Fatty down that line. Fatty gets the ball. Nice little ball roll scoop. Gives it into Alvarez. Alvarez, he's on it. He's going to dink it back down to Fatty. We've got so much space here. This is a very, very good chance to score. Lovely Elastico, but we get a little bit unfortunate. Um, can we win it back though? Hopefully. We're gonna put maybe a bit of a bit of a get a bit of a wriggle on here defensively, and uh, this guy. Oh no, this was just a clip showing you guys how weird this player was. This player, by the way, was the weirdest player I've ever played against. He, I think, he made about two hundred and fifty passes in one game of FIFA, and was just spamming a the whole game. That was the only goal in this whole game, and he had not even that much more possession than me, but he made two hundred and fifty passes. And my mate and I both play very possession based, tiki taka ish football make about 150 passes at most per game this guy was just spamming the a button for, for no reason so um yeah he didn't win the game so clearly didn't help him much and that was the end of that little rival session because canate's evo was then done which is very nice and we can um potentially put him into tots plus upgrade but i don't know i just don't really think he's that incredible i don't think he's worth the upgrade i think maybe hanko is worth the upgrade a bit more because i absolutely adore that card um, but yeah, we then decided that we needed to work on Lucas Vasquez, and we did so, getting the first level complete, and we still need to play some rivals for the second level, so I'm going to have to sub him on in some games in Elite Div this weekend. And then we also completed Minamino and this card here on Saturday, before I played my games on Sunday, and I think we did try Minamino out a little bit off the bench and a little bit in the starting eleven, but never really gelled for me, never really did too much. I think maybe in my new system that I'm using, he would work, but... Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. And we also, Bundesliga Tots was expiring. We packed Golgoretzka. He looks good with it. So may as well give it to Golgoretzka and uh, eventually Evo that card as well. So yeah, we'll have to do that at some point. And in, this is the team we were going to use for the next rival session. We played two games, played against two guys who just did rainbow flick bicycle kicks and scored five. And uh, I just left both of them games. So we were now halfway through the checkpoint to Elite Div, but we were... We were having a, a bit of a, a struggle of a time. So, um, yeah, this was the team that I was meant to be using. 4-3-2-1, Minamino, where Alvarez was. So it was pr a pretty similar team other than Mukiele out and Alvarez out. And um, I just just couldn't really gel with this team, and I just don't know why. Canate was also a bit of a letdown, hence why we're, we're kind of considering not putting him into that Evo anymore. But 
it is what it is. And um, yeah, eventually I ended up changing my mind with my team because, you know, it just wasn't working for me. I put Hanko in, I put Destin and I was just like, you know what? I copied, well, I didn't copy, but I used my friend's tactics. He plays 4 one 2 one 2 2 And he was just like, just use these tactics. They're different. They're more fun. It relies more on skill to create chances than the game. So I was like, sure, we'll try it out and maybe include these in the future. And first goal scored with the tactics was obviously a corner. Because this game is corner FC. But we're coming on the attack now. Alvarez at Cam, who he was being doubted at Cam. I know he doesn't have the best passing stats, but he has the incisive, the pinged and the tick and the long ball plus, which is what I love. And um, my second goal in these tactics was was that. But you might be wondering the quality of the clips is a bit worse because I was streaming on Twitch from my friend. So I only really went to gather the clips after the games. And um, yeah, that game was a bit of a an interesting one but then we played against this monstrosity incredible red picks Sophia Smith team of the year then Bele glitched Zaire Emery glitched Renard SPC Canate Cafu the only real weak point even he's very good but we win the ball high up in the eighth minute get it now on the line to Luis Diaz he's got Alvarez as an option but he sees Fatty at the back post finally using his power header plus and we get ourselves a goal to put us 1-0 up this guy coming down the line he finally uses his whip pass in this game with Samba Batra 30 minutes in and immediately scores from it so so, um, not ideal, but he wasn't a very, very good player. He was alright, but like, you know, wasn't incredible. But we get the ball across to Mukiele, gets it straight down the line for Luis Diaz. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and Luis Diaz takes the touch out of his feet, opens up the body, and scores. Get the ball into the attack. Sophia Smith, he's looking to maybe score a second, but Shabby Alonso with a vital interception. This guy has equalised, apparently. But we get the ball over the top of some brilliant one-touch football, and Luis Diaz eventually scores. And then we get in behind once again, one-on-one, -on -one, Ansu Fati with the keeper, Traveller Plus. Our low-driven Traveller Plus around the keeper, which is very, very nice. And then Alonso finally using the long ball pass plus, gives it to Diaz, first time ball into Fati, and we're just going to run it into the net for the 5-2 and the rage quit. And into the next game we go, I'm expecting another absolutely insane team. And you know what? It's an, it's not an insane team, it's just a, a half-decent team. So let's see how good this opponent is, because I don't know if I really believe he's going to do much against me, but Pachetic gives it into Alonso. This is nice one-touch football. Fatty to Luis Diaz to Alvarez. Fatty back to Diaz. The Elastico around the corner, and that's a fantastically worked goal. We tried to get around him again, but we end up getting the ball into Diaz. Flicks it up. No bicycle kicks. Not being gay. Just going to use his normal acrobatic and score a nice volley. And then we're coming down the end. We're taking the piss with Rolfo's trickster plus off the bench and the Travella into that far corner. From Rolfo, such a good player to have to bring off the bench. She's unbelievable. She should be starting, but I just can't really get a link. So it's like, and also she's not coming in over my current midfield three. I would like Busquets though. I would want to try that Busquets card. So if we could potentially pack him at some point, that would be nice. But in the end, we end up getting a rage quit after absolutely humiliating that Donny with that goal. And that makes it 3-0. And I think, I don't know how far off we are from the uh, elite division now. It puts us, let's have a look. Come on, get it up. It puts us on a streak, two wins away. So let's go. Playing up against this team, Lauren James Tots, a messy team of the year. Ramirez and Cole Palmer, and wow. Um, yeah, interesting. This guy coming up against me. Um, he just, I was doing this at the start of the game and then he does it for the first time in the game, instantly gets in behind and scores with Cole Barmer. So fair enough. And we need to, we really need to fight back now as we are now in the second half. It's still 1-0. This guy's been an absolute clown trying to waste time. Comes straight up the other end. Beautiful ball from Fatty into Lewis Diaz. 1-1 one -on -one with a keeper. Travella into the goal. And that is a equaliser at 1-1. One -one. Fatty gives it to McAllister. Nice little bit of player lock. This is 1-1. One -one. It's got to be scored, but I've bottled it. I've fumbled the opportunity. And that is surely surely the loss but I am the corner king for a reason Harry Hesk of stand aside Alonso we've been struggling with corners all game we just needed something to go our way but for once we're going to take Hanko with power header at the back post sneak him in between those two defenders power header it's a 90th minute winner from Hanko against one of the biggest weirdos I've ever played against and I was absolutely loving it that means we are now one game away from the elite division boys this is absolutely massive one of five red player picks. We need them every week, and I, I can't wait. This is where I belong in Elite Div. I, I belong in the upper echelons of this game. I just don't play champs. I just, just don't have the time or the effort. But one win away now from the Elite Division. Let's go. 
into the next game, into the potentially the final game, what kind of team are we going to come up against? I'm guessing it's going to be the most ridiculous team I've ever played against. Um, yeah, pretty much. Red Mbappe, Messi, Miziala, good. We are about to get absolutely molested. Uh, no offence, uh, but yeah. This guy does a, a, just a, a corner tactic and just scores from it because I expected him to pass it and not score Vessian. But, you know, this guy, I'm going to be completely honest, was an absolutely incredible player. But Alonso sees the long ball pass. What a ball that is to Ansu Fati. We need this goal. Fati scores it. And that is 1-1. This guy was very, very good. Um, and as you're about to see, any time we lost the ball stupidly like that, there was a chance we were going to get punished. And here we did. Gets the ball to Muziala. 99 dribbling on this card. And I'm about to get absolutely rinsed. It's just, you know, a really good goal. Like, I was trying everything I could. I had second man press. I was trying to cover off angles for passes and shots. And I just couldn't stop him. But in the end... We needed a, a big goal against an opponent like this, and he was very good, so we ended up scoring that and then that. And we are now, all of a sudden, in a few minutes, from 2-1 down and being really well, in a really tough game to winning, and then that happened, and I thought that was it. I thought I'd been given the loss, but apparently his internet crashed, and he got kicked out of Ultimate Team, and the game didn't count. So I was kind of relieved, because I was like, if this last opponent is n anywhere near as good as him... Like, anywhere not when... Well, sorry, let me rephrase that. If this guy is not below that level, I will win. So, you know, we come into the next game, and um, luckily for me, my opponent was rather questionable for a Division 1 player. We just knock it straight into into our attackers, give it to Ansu Fati, he just lunges in, I'll ask around the corner, Traveller at green time, off the bar, and then it's a, a bloody fantastic goal from Fati. And um, up the other end we go once again, Julian Alvarez, Gives it inside into Luis Diaz. Nice little ball. Knocks it into Alvarez. Back to Luis Diaz. Green time across goal. And that is 2-0. And what's it going to be in my promotion game for Elite Division without me scoring from a corner? We're going to whip this ball in with Shabby Alonso. We're going to take Maldini. Bring him to that near post. And bang on the bicey. A bit of a glitch goal. But I needed it for the Elite Division promotion. So it's definitely worth it. And we are finally, for the first time this year, for the first time since FIFA 21 into the elite division where we belong so very 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 nice and to be honest with you wasn't too bad i didn't lose after i changed up my tactics i went undefeated with them including against some very good opponents and donnarumma was decent michele's unreal maldini's phenomenal uh hanko and dest were very very good almost undroppable considering how cheap they are Bichetti, Alonso, McAllister was actually a decent midfield uh, Bichetti was getting subbed for Rolfo in most games and the front three speaks for itself absolutely phenomenal and yeah this is the team we're going to get ourselves a one of five foot champs picks and some incredible packs in tomorrow's rewards video which could even be out tomorrow if we get time to do so but other than that guys thank you all for watching it's been great having you all here today uh, if you have stayed this long, you know, like, subscribe, that sort of stuff. Road to 200 subs. Enjoy your weekends.